All right, before we start, I just want to let you guys know this is just an install video, not a how-to. Um, you can follow my instructions if you want, but uh, if you messed up, it's not going to be on me. So uh, let's get to it. When you're in there, I recommend go ahead and get yourself some bolts with your buttons if yours doesn't work or if you want yours to be a little bit brighter. Um, just go on Amazon, type in T3 bolts. Uh, they're real small these are uh, the little guy right here um they're super tiny but i got the led one these are the old one uh, yeah all right tools you're gonna, gonna need is gonna be a phillips screwdriver um flathead preferably something a little bit bigger but, uh, not bigger but a smaller head but long uh, yeah. right, first things first Remove the shift knob. Side. Pull up on this trim piece. It should just pop right out. You could use a flat head if you want. That would probably make it easier. All right, head it out. Prep for this video. Once you get the trim out, um, there's two way to remove this radio. Um, there's one where you have to remove this whole center console or there's a bracket on the stock radio. There's a, a nut in there or a screw, screw in there. And uh, two more up here. What you do is just pop the, the top vents out. What you do is just pop this top vents out like uh, like so. Just kind of have a uh, pry bar shelf under there and just push up on both sides. It should come right out. Once that out, if you look in there, there's one screw over there and one over there. Take that out, take those four screws out, and the radio should be able to come out. Um, it's probably best bet to uh, remove these two screws as well. And this side panel, these two side panels, is gonna come right out. Um, once you get those four screws out, uh, you wanna remove that screw here that screw here and then there's some tap down here where you just kind of shelf a flat head down in here you see that metal piece right there you push that down and you kind of pull this whole this whole side panel both side it'll, it'll come right out um once you get that out there's a tap underneath the uh tray here with the radio you just kind of push that in see it already came out i don't have a bracket so <laughs> that in there should come right out for method number two um uh, remove this whole center console right here it's kind of there's uh two two screws back there covered by this plate thing pop that out take those two screws out there's um one screw here one here one here 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 here, here, uh, let me take that out here. No. And, um, uh, screw here. Over there. And over there. Alright, once you got all the screws out, you should be able to just slide the whole unit back. Not far, you don't need it to be far. Just like so. And disconnect these two connectors for the heat of seat. All right, once you get these tap off, there's a, uh, you just, there's a small tap right here. Push this tap in. You see that? Yeah, you just push this tap in, push it down, and it should come right out. Right after that, like I said before, there's a, uh, a four metal tap on the side panel, on here, 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 and here. So to remove those, you just kind of like so before, shove a flat head would probably be better. Make sure you push that metal tab down, and uh, well, I'm gonna need two hands for this. You just kind of pull that side panel outward, and uh, for all four corners, and it should come right out. All right, once you get all four tapped out, um, there's another uh, wire you gotta disconnect. That's for the uh, 12 volt outlet. 
Uh, you, what you should do is just lift this piece up right here. Once you do that, you should be able to get to the tow boat outlet. Uh, this is what I was talking about. It's just, uh, there's no tap or anything. You just kind of pull it down. Should come right out. There may be a tap. I don't know, mine just came right out. But uh, probably have to press that tap right there and pull it right out. But um, if you get that, this should be just um, free floating. Actually, on the stock radio, like I said before, there's a. Uh, let me see. Screw here. Here. One in there. And one on this side. All right. there. Like I said before, I didn't put the bracket back because um, it doesn't really fit. So, um. Yeah, let me put these bolts in and uh, I'll talk about the wires. I forgot to mention that uh, you're gonna have to transfer these climate controls button over into the, the new radio. Um, let me see, let's see if uh, uh, there should be three screws. You just undo them and uh, they should come right out and you just transfer them over. It'll be that screw right there, one right here. Another one. Okay. Right there. Alright, after you take all three screws out on both sides, uh, it should just pop right out. Disconnect it and uh, come right out. Alright, uh, to undo these uh, bulbs, there's uh, four bulbs in here. It's kind of going there with a flat head. It, but I'll have to do it off camera because I only got one hand, you know. Alright, um, I end up just taking this shit off, making my life a lot easier. Um, these bulbs in here, they're freaking bright. Um, just a heads up, well, you, if it doesn't light up, just switch orientation and it's gonna work. I thought I, I busted mine up, but uh, turned out I didn't. Gotta flip the bulb around a little through uh, 180 and then it'll work. Alright, I'm gonna finish up the rest and uh, I'll let you know. Oh, well, yeah, this, this is the bulb I was talking about. One here, one here, and one, and one here, excuse me. And then you just uh, transfer it over, like so, and put the screws in. That's it. Um, someone's been telling me to pull these covers off, but um, because they said when it gets hot, it can melt the plastic. I haven't yet, but you guys can. Um, not sure if I should. I'm probably gonna go ahead and do it. Just for, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it on. <laughs> Change my mind again. Fuck it. And these screws are holding it in anyway, so I mean, I'm not taking the whole thing apart. All right, finish up the other side and, um, oh yeah. While I'm here, might as well talk about the wiring. Um, for this side, the driver's side one, you're gonna have to use an adapter. They're gonna come with an adapter with it. it it's gonna come with the uh, the radio. Um, this piece right here is just gonna plug right in. So I believe, no, this one's gonna have an adapter. Adapt that and then connect it to here. No, that's, this is for the passenger side uh, control unit. Um, I just kind of hooked them up. I mean, they're all kind of um, only going one way can we really get them wrong I'll just count the pins how many pins is in what and then just plug it in before you guys put everything all this this whole shit up uh back just um test it make sure everything works it's kind of a big headache with the wire but uh if i can figure it out you guys can figure it out it's really not that hard it takes a while to figure it out though i mean okay all right i'll get back to you once i got the other size the other side in all right all the uh, bolts are back in. Just gonna make sure everything lined up. Test fit, test everything, make sure everything works for you. And um, pro tip, don't drop any screws. It wasn't fun. This is why I didn't put the uh, bracket back in. There's no bolts or anything, any place for you to put it back in. But uh, I heard people just 3M tape it. But in my experience, 
it stays in there pretty good without the bracket so i just left it without the bracket i'm gonna put everything back in uh, together for you and uh, leave a comment below uh tell me what you need help with and i'll try to get back to you all right um I forgot to mention you guys, uh, this is not the only thing you have to transfer over, you have to transfer over these clips too. Uh, these are gonna be on the stock radio cap on the top side with a flathead. Your flathead right behind there, pry it out, come right out. Put this back on, these are for the screws for the bottom trays here. And uh, don't forget to put the uh, wire control out the back end. Yeah. I think that's it. I'm sorry I can't really show you guys. I don't like to do things, but uh, you know, I only got two hands, one to hold in the camera. If I got like a, a head mount, that would be great. I'm probably gonna get that in the future. Yeah, hook that wire back up, hook the uh, heat of seat wires back up. Um, yeah, just clip back in there, see? Oh, yeah, one, when you ready to push the uh, cup holders back in, make sure the vents line up. There's two vents in here. That's for your vent for the back, back side. Uh, this is also the reason why if your cup holders are getting hot in the winter when you're using heat, yeah, that, because of that. Uh, I may or may not delete this in the future. Yeah, we'll see. We'll get back to putting it back on. All right, uh, pro tip, if you are losing any screws or you drop any screws in there, um, that's okay because... Uh, you're missing some that's fine i'm missing a whole bunch actually um if you're leaving that bracket out you're actually gonna have extra screws for you but the most important parts you definitely want to have screws are here 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 and back here um maybe these two as well but i mean not really and those two back there all right i'm just gonna go overview with you guys just in case if you guys want to rewind it, go ahead, but uh, pop this tap out. There's going to be some screws. Phillips, they're all Phillips. Here, 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 um, here, and here. And then four more for the radio. It's going to be inside of there. Um, inside of there and two more in there. You know, once you got uh, all of the screws from this one out, oh yeah, two more in there as well. Just push it back. The uh, cup holders and the armrest should just slide right back. Give you enough room to undo two connectors for the heated seat. Um, once you do that, you're able to lift up this uh, shift boot. And then once you get that, don't yank on it. Um, you gotta undo the uh, 12 volt socket or 12 volt outlet. Um, once you got that removed, go ahead and remove the uh, shift boot. Um, pop the top vents out. You, you don't have to undo the connector, but you can if you want to make it a lot easier, I guess. But for me, I didn't really need it. Um, just pop it out, lay it up, up on top. Take out the two screws, Phillips from there, and the two out down here like i said before the uh, radio should come right out undo all your connectors um undo the uh, uh air control and um three screws on both sides transfer them over transfer the uh, screw clips on the bottom of the radio over um plug all your radio plugs in they only go in one way so i mean there's a bunch of wires but you should be able to figure it out once you got all of that in, test it, make sure everything works. Everything works, nice. Put everything back together. I'll just show you guys my address, oops. <laughs> you know, put everything back together. Um, right. Once you got everything running, um, if your temperature is in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit, I'll show you how to change that to Fahrenheit. You go to setting, you go on this uh, tool thing right here, type in three, three, six, eight. Password is always gonna be three, three, six, eight. Type that down. Write that down somewhere. Press confirm. Go to original car agreement. Scroll all the way down. This switch right here. 
Celsius to Fahrenheit. To change the wallpaper on this thing, you just hold down the center right here. Wallpaper. And you just choose any one of them. Or you can actually take a picture on your phone and upload it into here. And uh, it'll work too. You can go ahead and download Spotify or any kind of music player you want. Um, and you actually have stock radio navigation when you first get it you when you click a navigation there's gonna be like some extra navigation up here you can use Google map um, uh, or any other one but I just use this one here it's called ICO it doesn't use Wi-Fi or anything so it's just use the GPS that you you, uh, you hooked up in the back so no Wi-Fi needed but YouTube Google uh, map Apple navigation Play Store you're gonna need uh, Wi-Fi. I just connected to my phone. Uh, if anyone know how to change a kilometer to a mile per hour, let me know. But I don't even know how to do that, and I don't know how to get rid of this fucking ugly ass car down here. I mean, you know, it's happening to you. I don't like it. It's not even part of the wallpaper. That's the thing. You would actually use the uh, the buttons on your steering wheel too. I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Again, go to setting. Click on the gear right here, steering wheel setting, and you can actually pick any of those. Um, what you do is you hold down the volume button, or any of these buttons right here, you hold that down, and it's gonna say, please select learning function button, and you just click on what you need. So like right now, I'm holding down the up volume, and I'm just gonna tap the uh, volume up while I'm holding down the button. Same thing for uh, lowering the volume. Different tracks, hang up phone calls, auxiliary, Bluetooth, home, whatever. Alright, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment below. Like I said before, if you need help with anything, just uh, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. And uh, subscribe to me for more TL content. Peace.